podcasting from the Chicagoland area. This is Game On with Jackson Stewart, where we discuss men's lifestyle, focusing on sex, fitness, relationships, business, and more. We'll be interviewing the best of the best, the hot shots, and the rising stars in the worlds of modeling, fitness, cooking, and more. Influencers who are discussing keeping it sexy while at the top of their game. I'm your host, Jackson Stewart. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the game. This is Malika Sutton, and you're listening to Game On with Jackson Stewart. Two bulls, one young and one old, stand on a hill. Below them, they see a herd of cows available for mating. The young bull is eager, excited, and barely able to control himself. He says to the old bull, hey, let's hurry up, let's run down, and let's get as many as we can. The old bull takes a slow breath and says, how about we walk and get all of them? The first time I heard this story about the old bull and young bull, I was in college. Um, I was a freshman. And my supervisor, uh, where I worked, I worked on the cam- I worked on campus. Uh, this, my supervisor was this old guy, o- older cat, who was also a student. He was non-traditional, and um, he had seen the world more times than I could count at the time. And I was green as fuck, <laughs> and I had no just had no idea about anything. But what I did have going for me was the fact that I was open to learn all the time. I mean, I was eager to learn. And yeah, I don't mean just school, but I, I worked my ass off in my classes. But I was a young bull who wasn't so eager that he couldn't take his time to learn from everyone he met. And yeah, I still apply that. I, I, and that's one of the reasons why I enjoy the show is that every guest I learn something from and, and I really enjoy that. So I was a young bull and here was this old bull. And um. I forget the exact context of the moment, but I think we were looking at a room full of uh, of all these students, and there was a large majority of very attractive female students, and he smiled, and I think I was going to go try and, and talk to one of the girls there and, and lay out some game, which at the time was probably pretty fucking pathetic, but he told me that. He said, hey, young bull, you want to run over there? and get a couple. And I say, how about we walk and get all of them? And he laughed because he was married and stuff, but you know, he, he just wanted to lay that wisdom on me. And I see the young bull and in tons of men, even in myself from time to time. And, you know, college was a while ago, but what does that mean? Who, who is the young bull? Who is the old bull? What do they represent? What is this whole little fable or anecdote or story supposed to relate to people who hear it. And so that's what we're talking about tonight on Game On with Jackson Stewart. We're talking about young bulls, old bulls, and and what we can learn. Um, And if it's your first time on the show or listen to the show, welcome, enjoy. If you've been with us since the get-go or been with us a couple episodes, I appreciate you. Thank you for being our audience and for, you know, making the show what it is. Um, If you have not subscribed to the podcast, please do so. Please feel free to leave any comments. And also please follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. So the young bull is the rookie, right? The overeager, too quick on the draw, potential know-it-all who spends more time with, you know, quick action and potential frustration than he spends patiently learning. Um, you know, you see young bulls at your job, uh, wherever you're working or in school or in your family or in yourself, you know, they're, they're so busy trying to prove that they have the answer all the time, that they're the smartest person in the room. And, and, you know, I I see it in in strip clubs. I see it in, in cam rooms. They come in or they show up on the spot and they're just, just bang, 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 just shooting talking too much, asking, uh, not really asking questions to learn, but maybe making demands, Um, just questioning so much stuff, but not in a way to learn, just uh, out of frustration, impatience. That's the young bull. 
the young bull represents a lack of experience, a lack of maturity. Um, and they're not necessarily immature in all aspects of their life, but just in this particular moment, they are. I was, uh, I was at a strip club once. And yeah, I've been there for, for a couple of times for a hot minute. So, uh, you know, the dancers knew who I was, or at least recognized me and, and knew how, you know, how, how I threw and how I performed. And, and there was a young guy uh, new in the room. And he was just like, you could just feel the tension and the irritation and the frustration just dripping off this guy because the models weren't paying attention. I'm sorry, not the models. The dancers weren't paying attention to him like they were to myself. And then there were some older cats there who were out gaming me. I mean, like, but you could tell these guys had hardcore been there for a while. And these dancers were very comfortable with them and with this guy and, and so on. So the the young bull in the room was, you know, his frustration changed his attitude to the point where he was like combative. He didn't like the prices. He was pissed off about how long the drinks took. Or, I mean, his negativity grew to the point where it poisoned his whole experience. And, and he left unhappy. And, you know, the old bulls were looking, sitting back like, you know, damn, son, I'm having a good time. What's wrong with you? Now, there's been times when I have had young bull moments. Uh, case in point, once again, I was at a club. And there was one dancer in particular that was dying to go get a private dance with. And I was, I was just trying, like I was trying to catch her, trying to catch her. And she was, she was fairly busy, but I thought there were still some windows and, and I was trying so hard. And eventually I was with a group of guys. Um, one guy knew very well, a couple of guys were his buddies. And, and one guy was like an old bull. He was kind of pissed off about the world, but he was still kind of an old bull. And he's like, uh, He's like, hey, 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 Jackson, just calm the fuck down, man. He's like, the more you keep zipping around, running around, trying to catch her attention, the harder it's going to be to get with her. And he's like, you put it out there. She knows where you are. If she wants to, if she wants to dance for you, she wants to hang out a little bit, let her come to you. And she will. And I'm like, but what if she doesn't? He's like, well, then screw her. And I was like, damn, man, just like that. He goes, yeah, you can't, you are missing the entire positive night and not just the dancers, but just the vibe was good. The drinks were flowing. And he told me I was just missing so much because I was just focused too much. So I was running to try, and, to try and get a couple rather than walking and getting all of it. So why do we have, uh, I'm sorry, in addition to the young bull represents um, the rookie and lack of experience. They also represent uh, the part of a man that is only, only seeing things five minutes in front of him and he lacks self-awareness. Um, you know, he's just thinking about right now in the moment, me, 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 me. He's not looking at the long game. He's not looking at the short game. Why do we have young bulls? Well, young bulls have to exist because nobody is born wise. <laughs> it's just, it is the way it is, people. We become wise by essentially screwing up a lot and learning from those screw ups. Um, the problem with a lot of young bulls is that they don't learn from mistakes and they damn near don't admit that they made mistakes in the first place. And the problem is that the young bull who doesn't grow into an old one. So that, that's the problem right there. An old, a young bull who never becomes an old bull. So you could have you know, dude that's like 75 years old, but he's still a young bull in the way he acts. He, he's hot-headed, immature, uh, lacks self-awareness, can't, can't, as I'd say, lay back in the cut and observe the room and get in where he fits in or fits in where he gets in, however you want to say it. So the old bull is not based on age. And now there's a young bull, but the old bull is based on experience, knowledge, uh, maturity and the application of what he's learned. He doesn't give into the rat race because he doesn't acknowledge its power over him. Like that's huge. It's not that he's oblivious to what's going on. That old bull sees that there are a lot of cows in that pasture that they could get with, but he's not overwhelmed by it. He just realizes that it's not going to have power over him. I'm pretty sure that if they, if that old bull only got one or two, you know, 
<laughs> quick bull pumps out there. He's good with it because there's still more than what he had at the top of that hill. The old bull, the old bull is the immovable object that doesn't push force on anybody. He doesn't try and change people. He doesn't try and control people. But his energy changes the environment. His attitude, how he treats people, changes people, changes other attitudes. Whether it does or it doesn't, he doesn't really give a fuck. And it's not that he's apathetic or he's selfish. He's just not, he's just not gonna be moved by it. That's the old bull. You know, he's that veteran player on the team that takes the new players to the side and helps them up their game. He represents applied knowledge. So for example, he's seen how to engage people in real conversations, how to talk to people. And he's not just waiting around to talk about how to talk. He does it. He doesn't, he's observed conversation tactics. He's observed uh, how to read people. He looks for uh, micro transactions and movements, um, micro facial expressions. So he's good at this. And so therefore he, he can read people very well. Now, knowledge without application is useless, right? So he takes what he's learned and he does it. So, you know, previously, uh, Two episodes ago, we talked about holding court. Old bulls can hold court very easily. They may not even strive to do it or set out to do it. But by the way, they talk to people, by the way, they communicate, they change the environment, and then people gravitate towards them because they're very calming. Old bulls very chill. And they allow people to flourish. See, young bulls are in competition with everybody. Like, oh man, like, you know, why is uh why is she talking to him that way? Or, you know, why, why is, why has he got that position and I don't? And everybody can feel that way sometimes. But if it's your dominant ideology, your dominant um, method of, of acting, then that makes you a young bull. Old bulls are like, you know, um, how did that person get that way? I want to learn so I can get there one day. You know, look at uh, that joke that guy just told um, was hilarious. How did uh, I want to know the joke? Like, tell it to me. So an old bull takes experience and applies it. They're, in no, they're not in any competition with anybody. If they are competing with anybody, an old bull is really competing with himself. Um, the old bull knows how to treat a partner in a relationship and he does it. He's good in bed because he's learned how to be good in bed and he shows it. The old bull is experience personified and he's patient as fuck. <laughs> and he's not a procrastinator, but he's patient. There's a big difference. Procrastination, you put off, put off, put off, put off, put off action, put off choice. Patience, you watch, you learn, and then you act. An old bull is patient, and then he's decisive as hell. So why don't we have more old bulls? Hell, because they're tired. Shit. <laughs> old bulls been doing it. Old bulls are out there. It's just a matter of being able to recognize one when you meet them. Um, and you have to be open to, uh, to an old bull, to to learning from them because sometimes a guy can feel like, well, I'm bowing down to this person or I'm, I'm becoming the beta to this alpha. No, if you got a mentor, you'd be a fool for not taking advantage of the chance to learn from them. Old bulls aren't trying to stand on top of you. They're trying to teach your ass. They're trying to up your game because the better the players in the game, the better the game is overall. Once you recognize an old bull, well, then you meet the old bull and you have to be receptive to learning from him. And, you know, there's nothing wrong. You know, there, 
I remember I had a professor who told me uh, one of the best things in the world you can have is the ability to say, I don't know. And then the ability to go and learn. So you do know. And that's what separates old bulls from young bulls. Your man Jack has been fortunate enough to have had several old bulls in his life that took the time to teach, you know, my green young blood rookie ass <laughs> how shit goes. And, you know, if you're a young bull, open up your eyes and your ears. Oh, wait, I should back up. So I, I worked for a guy once and he, <laughs> I love this. One day he took me up the side and he said, I got two rules for you, man. And, uh, and I'm, I'm green as hell, young as shit. And I'm all wide eyed and everything. He's like, I got two rules. And technically, yeah, I'm sorry, technically, depending on where you put the punctuation, it could be three or four rules. But he said, two rules open your eyes, open your ears, shut the fuck up and learn something. And then, you know, part of me is like, was that four? Because open your eyes won't open your. And then, you know, I think he told me to shut up. But like, man, he was dead on because. Young bulls talk too much because they're trying to prove how smart they are. They're trying to prove that, you know, they're trying to prove themselves out of some sense of insecurity. Like, oh, look at me. I'm here for a reason. I'm so smart. Or, oh, look at me. I'm, I'm flashy because I'm trying to prove that I earned this or how much money I make or what kind of car I drive. Nobody fucking cares. Knock this shit off. Um, old bulls could give a rat's ass if you like what they drive or if you think they're poor or if you think they're rich. Old bulls don't care. Old bulls are very comfortable in their skin. So if they go in a spot and people pay attention to them, cool. If people don't pay attention to them, cool. If they're not happy with either of those scenarios, old bulls, you know, pop the stakes, fold up the tent, and they get out of there. Young bulls, open up your eyes, open up your ears, shut the fuck up and learn something. Look at that guy holding court. You know, look at how, look at the guy that's moving the room and don't envy him. Don't be like, hey, man, what, you know, look at that guy. I hate that guy. Look how he's dressed, you know, whatever. What. No, no, don't envy him. That's the young bull in you coming up. You may not like him and you may not like all the things he does. And yeah, you might get pissed off at some of his treatment, especially if he's not sincere, considerate. You know, if he's not a good cat, but he's getting attention. All right, then I, that, that I can dig. I, I see why you get pissed off about that. But he's cool and he's holding court. He's moving the room. He's an old bull. Don't envy him. Don't mimic him. Don't try and act like him or, you know, pick up his mannerisms or things he says and stuff. Because that's, that's going to come off as pathetic and, and insincere, disingenuous even. Go up and just sit with him or ask him. Like, hey, man, like, you know, I say from across the room, you look like a hell of a lot of fun. How, how's it going? He might, and if he's an old bull, he's comfortable because you're not the first person to roll up on him like that. And he might say, I'm just out here having a good night. Got my buddy over here, you know, and he'll, he'll invite you in more than likely. Be, oh, we're celebrating my buddy's birthday, blah, blah, blah. And that's when you say, this is how you join the moment. You say, oh, it's a birthday or it's a party or whatever. Hey, if you're doing another shot, it's on me. See, then that's, you learn it. You've just meshed yourself into the moment. And then watch this guy. You can even say one-on-one, -on -one, like, hey, man, like, you know, I get socially awkward at times. And you're over here. You know, you got three tables pulled together full of people, and they're all hanging on your every word. How do you do it? And he'll probably tell you, you know, go listen to Game On with Jackson Stewart. Or <laughs> but no, I mean, he, he'll probably just say, I just, I like people, and I like to talk to them. And I listen. I pay attention to people. I legitimately care about when I'm talking to somebody. I don't just wait to talk. I actually have conversations. So like I said, don't envy, don't mimic, but learn and, and remember it. And so then you then apply it next time. And then you eventually become an old bull. And you're not going to compete with this guy. You're not going to leave his table and go to another table across the room and try and do the same damn thing. No, just chill out, man. Lay back. Lay back in the cut. Enjoy it. Maybe a couple of weeks later, maybe a month later, you'll find yourself in a place and then you'll be holding court and you'll start going, oh man, like all this stuff that old bull taught me, you can apply it. Now, if you're an old bull, 
on behalf of the world, on behalf of the players of the game, keep doing what you're doing and take the time to mentor a young bull or two or three, but also make sure that you keep uh, a youthful energy about yourself. Because sometimes old bulls, they, they burn out. They, they get they're tired. They're like, shit, man, I'm tired. I've seen too much, done too much, and remember too much of it. Um, so, I mean, you know, old bulls have to stay, stay fresh, stay updated. You know, whether it be with technology, whether it be with uh, current events. Maybe your pool of, uh, of friends and stuff has just kind of gotten thin because all your boys are older or, you know, are in different stages of life. And you got to throw in some, some young blood. So, you know, get you some young bulls in there and go hang out with them. And, you know, they can, uh, they'll teach you probably not as much as you're going to teach them, but you never know. It keeps you young. All bulls uh, can burn out and fade away easily, but there's too much to learn from you all, old bull population, to lose you anytime soon. So that is the old bull and the young bull. And to, uh, to both groups, spend time with each other, come way better. And remember that it's better, rather than run, learn to walk. Good people, sexy people. That wraps up our show. Follow me on Instagram at JacksonStewart2 and on Twitter at JacksonStewart01. Keep up with the show at www.gameoutwithjack.com and we'll see you next week. Until then, keep it sexy and game on. Can't buy you and me should go dance.